great. We're ready to recommence. We're now uh, live streaming uh, video uh, on the Committee of the Whole. I welcome everybody to the Committee of the Whole, all two mem three members of the audience. Uh, this is the, uh, the regular Committee of the Whole, and as I mentioned, it's video conference and video recorded, so just be aware of that. Uh, and it will be archived. We have uh, two items on here. The first has to do with the parks, and I'm just going to continue chairing it just for just typically it's the acting mayor, but so we didn't have to change the chairs and everything. Um, and we've got the Parks and Recreation and Culture Commission minutes, uh, and of which what's important, of course, there uh, embedded in there is the proposed fees that I think need to be done tonight. So, um, could uh, see if there's any questions on the minutes, first of all, and this relates to November the 2nd. Seeing none, I invite a motion move to approval. receive. Or move receipt. Uh, discussion, oh, has it been seconded? Okay. Do we, sorry, is this the second? Is this the, 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 the recommended here that the minutes um, be received ex with the exception of the recommendations with respect to the budget and the fees and charges? Yes, that's what I assume the motion was, yes, okay. as it's contained in that report. Essentially, the staff recommendation. Okay. Um, all right. Questions on the minutes. Okay. Go ahead, please. I just wanted to uh, to point out that the Beach Zen Net event is on the same night as a council meeting, and I'm very sad that council can't attend. We'll have to make that a quick meeting and run out to help. But um, I think that's a really cool uh, partnership with the. Uh, the museum, and uh, I think that's that's an excellent idea, and it's it's a great idea to also get people out on the beach in the dark, like it's unusual, and it also just I don't know I think it's a great idea. I know it's been done once before, but uh, um, I just I think that com commend the staff for working uh, with uh, those partners to make sure that this could happen. I also wanted to mention a, a big thank you to the um, park staff for. Um, their support of the um, Tree Appreciation Day um, and that they come out every time on a weekend and are very supportive and making sure that that uh, program or that event uh, runs so smoothly with the support of the Friends of Uplands Park and, and others. But it just, it, it's so nice to see staff out doing that work and also that there happened to be a tree down <laughs> on the road moments before was kind of like amazing it was but it drew attention to the fact that we do need to um, make sure that we're replacing our urban forests so thanks for that there it's great work thank you any other points worth making on the minutes Eric uh, and I, I, I see you. any other hands I know I have thank your you hands. chair you? Uh, I was just gonna say about the uh, the the Royal BC uh, uh, scene event. Uh, my my um, my son will be at there at the event, and I was hoping to go with him, but say la vie. At least he'll be able to make it. So uh, please take care of him if you wouldn't mind. <laughs> Thank you. So well, usually uh, one councillor can't direct a staff member, so you might want to. You'd, you'd need a motion, and you'd have to convince three others. It's a small point. Just how things work here. Uh, no other questions. I'm going to call the question. That is to adopt these minutes with the exception of the fees and charges. All in favor? Opposed? Unopposed. Uh, now, the, the next motion uh, I would entertain is that, uh, that we recommend to Council that the proposed uh, operating budget, capital and budget fees and charges, um, with the exception of the golf fees and outdoor tennis, be referred to the Estimates Committee and the proposed golf fees and outdoor tennis fees for 2017 be approved. So move. Second. Moved and seconded. And, th and the purpose for that, I understand, for exempting the golf fees and the outdoor tennis fees is we do that. We've been doing that every year just so you can get that into your materials that are coming out, correct? Correct, Your Worship. Just uh, particularly with golf and outdoor tennis, the season starts in the spring, and this is an opportunity to have those fees come into effect at the beginning of the season rather than the end. Excellent. Now, uh, so that motion is now on the floor. Are there any questions about either the first part, which is referring it to estimates, or the second part about the fees? Seeing no questions, I'm now going to call the question. All in favor? Opposed? None opposed. Thank you very much. Um, that, that's the end of that topic. Uh, <laughs> thank you. 
we have yes, a question, ahead. if I may. Do you uh, want to move that motion to have your son looked after? No, no actually, no, no, okay. I, I, I would love it if, um, if uh, the um, uh, director of, uh, of Parks and Rec and Culture could possibly go through the program report. Uh, I would love to hear um, any, any highlights that, that he may um, wish to share with us. Is that possible? That you, yes, you could have asked that as we we're going through, but it's fine now also. And that is to do with the, with the uh, see the reports that you were talking about are attached to the minutes. All right, so that's fine. The program reports, it might be more helpful to Mr. Herman if you uh, are specific, because there's probably quite a bit in there. I'll just open that up on. Yes, I'm always interested in hearing about the, the tree reports and, and, and what's happening in parks. Uh, the, 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 um, the, the district is looking absolutely beautiful, and I really appreciate all the work done over Mer Remembrance Day. But with all the winds and stuff, if there's any um, impacts that you wanted to share about what's happening with the trees, I'd appreciate it. Uh, thank you, through the chair. Um, actually, we've been blessed uh, this fall with uh, the storms not being quite as uh, impactful to the trees as as can happen in, at this time of year. Uh, a couple of storms were not as uh, severe as, as what had been predicted. So all in all, I, I think uh, uh, the horticultural crew, or the arborist crew, pardon me, is, uh, has not been run ragged. Um, now we did have a, a, an elm tree on Beach Drive was impacted by a water break and had to be removed, which was unfortunate, but uh, uh, that work has largely been done now. Um, so Parks is really in, in maintenance mode. Uh, we're uh, working on, um, right now actually, they're working on Christmas lights and things like that, which is uh, something that they do at this time of year. And uh, and a little bit of a breather until they get ready for the pruning season after Christmas. Uh, Follow-up question regarding that. Um, with, uh, uh, in, in your report, you do talk about um, the trees that were cut down illegally and, uh, and the uh, uh, outcome of that. Uh, for that money or, or for, for those particular properties, do, do we force the owners to, to pay for new trees to be planted? Or how does that work in terms of like once, once someone's been declared guilty and all that stuff and they paid the money, what happens next? Like with respect to, to maybe planting a new tree, for example? Well, the specific... Uh the specific property in question, there was um, actually a, a legal proceeding that resulted in a uh, substantial fine being levied, which I believe the mayor made an announcement on uh, a few weeks back. So uh, I think that's a bit of an unusual circumstance. Um, obviously, we try as much as we can to catch those illegal removals and, and levy fines and what have you, but. Um, I'm not entirely sure that that is the process. Uh, I would suggest that there may be occasions where we are not aware, but uh, but typically um, staff are pretty cognizant of what's going on with the trees in the community, and and when there's illegal removals, they would certainly not um, shy away from acting um, to the full extent of our ability to address those issues. So I, I, I appreciate just uh, this moment to, to use this as an education opportunity for, um, for, for those listening in um, with respect to the fact that we are serious about the trees. So thank you very much for your comments. Thank you. We're going to move on to the second item, and that is a request from uh, the Greater Victoria Greenbelt Society to, uh, to support the acquisition without a lot of details of a, of a, a particular 73-acre uh, area. Um, so we, we're not given much information. We don't know the cost. We don't know how it might impact our, the CRD and the CRD parks programs. Uh, I, su I suggest without more and without all those details uh, and perhaps a report from our staff and our finance people that we, we're really not in a position to, be, to make an informed decision. So you may want to consider the uh, deputy director or the director of corporate services recommendation is that we receive this uh, for information. Second. Moved and seconded. Discussion? All in favor? Opposed? None opposed. Thank you very much. Moved to adjourn, Move adjourn. please. Moved. Seconded. Discussion? All in favor? Opposed? None opposed. Thank you very much. Thank you. And thanks to uh, both members of our audience.
three members of our audience. I didn't. <laughs> I thought Christina had left. I <laughs> until you stood up there, Steve. 